Standard and Poor's has just published the Subnational Borrowing Report for Asia. Yifan Poor is here to speak to us about his report. Hi, Yifan. Hi, Amy. So why has local government borrowing in Asia been so low compared to developed markets like US and Europe? Right. Before we even start, maybe we should have a look at um, how developed capital markets are in the region. And often we find that the number of ratings assigned to a region has a very high correlation to how developed capital markets are. So at a municipal level in US alone, we have assigned over 15,000 ratings. In Europe, the number is smaller, but it's still substantial at 150. In Asia, it's very, very low, like only 20 municipal ratings. And so you can imagine just how far behind Asia is in terms of capital markets development at the subnational level. Now, as central governments um, start to devolve and start to become more mature, they tend to devolve more of the responsibilities towards uh, to municipal governments because the belief is that local governments are more efficient in program uh, delivery, they are more cost effective in implementing projects. However, in Asia so far, we have seen that many central governments remain very centralized and they are reluctant to devolve that to the local level. Uh, the other factor why issuance level has been low is also because investors tend to be, um, before investors would want to you know, uh, be interested in an entity's bond issuance, it usually requires a very high level of financial management capacity and very high level of financial transparency before they will be you know, willing to invest in the bond. And so far as we can tell, uh, municipal governments in Asia has not reached that level yet. So why do you hold the view that subnational borrowing in Asia may take off soon? Yes, uh, mostly because we believe that uh, as Asia develops, uh, there is still a very large infrastructure deficit and local governments will have to bear a very big component of building that inf infrastructure capacity. Uh, our research has found that the larger the role that a uh, local government plays in infrastructure building, the more developed is the level of infrastructure of the country. So if you look at the chart here, you will find that uh, for countries such as, for example, Japan, Korea, Taiwan, uh, the level of infrastructure is actually very good because of the large role that LRGs has played in the last decades to try to build up capacity. Uh, the second reason that we believe will heavily influence the level of borrowing is also as, uh, as, as uh, governments in Asia mature, they will start to devolve more of the responsibilities to uh, local governments and local governments in turn will start to improve their financial management and report and reporting and also their financial management capacity. So as that happens, we believe that investors will start to be more willing to lend to these governments. Uh, and we believe that right now um, there's a lot of restrictions in terms, in terms of uh, borrowing by local governments. For example, in Indonesia, in China, uh, local governments are not allowed to go out to borrow easily. And we, but we believe that as they improve their financial management, uh, these restrictions will be lifted and we will start seeing these countries be able to borrow and the capacity and also the financial markets and the capital markets of these countries will start to be more developed like in the direction of how Japan and Korea has went. Thank you, Yifan. Thank you for watching Great Mothers TV. See you again.